Hi everyone, my name is Glenn Bartley and welcome to another one of my video blogs. I'm here in the backcountry of BC where I've been on a road trip for the last two weeks photographing birds, as you can perhaps tell from my slightly grizzled appearance here. But uh, on this calm night where I don't really have anything to photograph, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about some of the different tripods and tripod heads that I use when I'm out in the field. So we'll get started with my main tripod, which is a Gitzo carbon fiber tripod. The model that I have here is the 3540 XLS. Now, what I love about this tripod, obviously it's, you know, Gitzo makes the best tripods for sure on the market. Um, super stable for how stable it is, very lightweight. What I love about this particular model is that it's a, it's a four section carbon fiber tripod, but with just three of the sections, with two of the legs extended, it's pretty much perfect eye level for me. I'm about six foot one. But what's beautiful about this tripod is for only an extra third of a pound, you get an entire extra section. So that may seem too high. I mean, I'm not seven feet tall, but what it's really good for is if you have a bird perhaps up overhead, you can still shoot it and be standing at eye level rather than be crouched down like this. Another thing that it's great for is if you have, you know, actually last week I had a woodpecker that was nesting a little bit above um, what would have been attainable normally, but I put the tripod up to full height. I stood on a, a stump of wood and I was able to shoot very comfortably at a higher position than normally would be possible. So great tripod. I love this thing and uh, it goes everywhere with me. Mounted up top here, I've got the Wimberly head version two. This is pretty much my everyday tripod head when I'm using my 500 millimeter lens. Um, I don't know, what can you say about the Wimberly? It's the industry standard. It's a great piece of equipment, never lets you down. It does what you need it to do. Now, Wimberly is a great company. They make great products, but their flash bracket, while it's very good, um, it kind of has maybe one flaw. It doesn't really go up quite high enough. I've got this one here by a company called Custom Brackets, and they've done a really good job about making this uh, very, very adjustable, and you can put it up quite a bit higher than the normal Wimberly uh, flash bracket. So that's kind of nice. You can see here that it uh, can be adjustable for different angles. If you're shooting macro, it goes up really high, works with any variety of flash cables. It's a good product. It's what I'm using now on my main rig here. So let's put that one aside. Now, I've been known to want to go and get in uh, the odd pond, swamp, puddle, whatever, to try to get low angle shots of birds. When I do that, I don't really want to take my $900 carbon fiber tripod in there. So my old tripod, which is also a Gitzo, but it's an aluminum version. It weighs probably nearly as much as my car, um, but it's very stable. And you know, it's, it's a less expensive tripod that I'm willing to put in the water. And if it gets a bit mucked up, that's okay. Uh, and what I've rigged this one up with is a, is a little bit of a different configuration. Once you get in the water, especially once you're up in chest waders and you're, you're in there pretty deep, it's a little tricky to level the legs underwater. It can be very complicated. So I much prefer to have the Gitzo leveling base on here. You can quickly level things, lock it down, and then you know you're at perfect level position. So therefore, panning in any direction with a, uh, just the other night I was photographing loons on a very calm pond, and you can get those eye level shots that you need. So that's really great. Now up here, I've got the uh, gimbal head from Custom Brackets. Now why don't I have a Wimberly head on this one? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The Custom Brackets head is also a very great product. Uh, it's very comparable to the Wimberly in many ways. Um, but one thing that I really like about it when I'm in the water shooting things is if you're at, imagine the water levels right here. And even if you've got this thing leveled, sometimes you know you tip it up or down and all of a sudden you've dunked your lens or your camera. Um, what I love about this one from Custom Brackets is it has a little lock here. <clears throat> so you know that you can't go further than that, which is normally plenty uh, once you're leveled and at eye level to, to pan around. But you can be shooting and you know you can't dunk your camera. So that's a great little, little uh, innovation there from Custom Brackets. Second thing I love about this head is that it comes apart. So when you're traveling, you don't have to put this huge thing in your backpack or your bag. Uh, that may or may not be an issue for you, but for me sometimes I like something that can come apart and pack up a little bit easier. So that's tripod number two. Sometimes I have to hike in far to something. Maybe if I'm shooting landscapes or macro or something, I don't want to necessarily lug one of these big ones around. So I've got this uh, much smaller, lighter weight tripod here from Enduro. 
It's the AT014 model, very small, very lightweight, I mean, probably weighs two pounds. And up top on it, I've got a small little Geodos uh, mini ball head, great little ball head, can easily hold an SLR with a wide angle or macro lens, lock it down, takes the standard quick release plate, it's great. Packs down to just about nothing. So when you're having to hike in somewhere and don't want to carry the normal amounts of gear, this guy here is a great option. Um, like I said, doesn't weigh much, doesn't cost much either, and uh, packs down nice and small. So those are three of the tripods that I use when I'm out in the field. I hope you found this uh, video interesting. And uh, if you need to find out where you can buy these products, go and stop in on the gear section of my webpage, which is in the articles, and you can find out more information about these products there. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.